The conservatory program at Florida Repertory Theater, we give young students the professional experience. So everybody who comes and works on the show is a professional in their field. We have a wonderful team of designers. Our set designer, Jordan Moore, who has been designing sets at Florida Rep for many years. He's actually in California right now getting his Master of Fine Arts in Scenic Design. He is designing remotely. Our costume designer, Rebecca Rankin, her design concept goes around what would costumes look like underwater, what distress would happen to them. So in addition to all the fun costumes we have in SpongeBob, there's another layer of distress in sand that will be added to the costumes, which is very exciting. Our lighting designer, James Davis, is actually building lighting units, and he will be bringing them in when he comes to tech to hang all around the stage and the arcade which is very exciting. And then our projections designer, Ben Lowe, he was with us last season. Uh, he assisted with the projections for Into the Woods and Into the Woods Junior. And then this year, he will be designing the projections for the SpongeBob musical, which we are so excited about. My choreographer, David Tripto, was such a dream to work with. We met probably once a week for two months um, talking about the show, talking about some ideas I had for the dances, him um, sending me videos of choreography that he created. Uh, fun fact, David was only here for one week, so all the dance that you see on the stage, the he taught that and the cast learned that was just one week of rehearsal, which is just mind-boggling uh, for the size of the show. Our music director, Roz Metcalf, um, she has music directed with us over the past six years and we were so happy to have her back on the Spongebob musical. And then of course the amazing education team, um, education director Cody C. Jones and our education intern Danica Murray and Danica is also our stage manager for the production as well. And then our props designer Miranda White, she works full time here at the Rep and what her and her team have done with these props is just breathtaking. They look like they have been just taken out of the cartoon and placed on the arcade stage. So another unique aspect about the SpongeBob musical is we have a Foley artist on stage and their job is to make the sound that happens on the stage. So those iconic SpongeBob squeaks or those iconic uh, foghorn alarm sounds, that is all made through our Foley artist who is on stage throughout the entirety of the show. Um, in addition to the Foley artist, we also have um, our sound designer, Adam, who helps us with some pre-recorded sounds as well. But the majority of the sounds that you will hear um, in the SpongeBob musical is all done live.